skin, eyelids and ocular surface should be disinfected and adequate local anesthesia administered. Carefully remove the cap from the applicator. Hold the applicator in one hand and pull the safety tab straight off the applicator. Do not twist or flex the tab. Hold the long axis of the applicator parallel to the limbus. Allow the applicator to meet the sclera at an oblique angle, with the bevel of the needle facing up away from the sclera. Push the tip about one millimeter into the sclera, keeping it parallel to the limbus. Redirect towards the center of the eye into the vitreous cavity. Advance the needle until you enter the vitreous cavity. Do not advance the needle past the point where the sleeve of the applicator touches the conjunctiva. Depress the actuator button slowly until you hear a click. Before withdrawing the applicator from the eye, make sure that the actuator button is fully depressed and has locked flush with the applicator surface. Withdraw the applicator in the same direction that you used to enter the vitreous. Keep the bevel up. Go parallel to the limbus with an angle 45 degrees. To the surface of sclera about one half the sharp part of the needle about one millimeter. Turn the applicator to be perpendicular on the sclera. Don't go beyond the light blue sleeve. Press on the actuator button till the end and hear the click. Make sure the actuator button is pressed flush with the surface of the applicator before going out. In the same direction. Don't inject Ozerdix except an intact posterior capsule of the lens. Make sure there are no other contraindications. Thanks for watching. To have more educational videos, please subscribe, like, and share.